Hi, this is JC with Rob for me. Who do we have to call? Hi, my name is Steven. Hi, Steven. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you, JC? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Uh, do we need to wait for someone else, or is it just you? No, it's just going to be me. Excellent. So let's go ahead and get started. I understand you uh, have some specific questions, and uh, that's the reason why you um, we set up this uh, session for you. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm having an issue right now. Um, I have about uh, 5,000 customers. Um, okay. so that means I have 5,000 locations that I need to reach. Uh, and I'm just uh, really struggling with uh, dividing it up between my drivers, figuring out um, you know, how to maximize uh, their time on the road. And I was really hoping that route for me would be able to assist me with that. Okay. And how many drivers do you say you have? Um, you know, at this point, I'm not really too sure. Um, you know, I have five drivers, uh, but, you know, we may need to increase that, so I'm just trying to figure out uh, how many drivers okay. I, I need. That shouldn't be a problem. All right, so let's go directly into Rob for me. We're going to solve this problem for you. All right, so once you log in, as you can see, the system will take me into my um, routes list. So the solution that we're going to use for your specific problem will be our address book and the address book map section, okay? Which you'll find on your left-hand side, address book, and we're going to go directly into the address book map, okay? Um, in my address book, I already have um, a few thousand addresses loaded, okay? We're going to take the clustering view away and show you pins on the map, okay? So there are multiple ways in, how, in which you can um, utilize this, uh, this tool and plan your, um, uh, all of your routes. You can actually just, once you upload your addresses into your address book, you can upload them all at once. Um, you know, you can do a thousand addresses at a time as you upload into the address book if you have different sections, if you have different files, or, you know, you can use our um, bulk route analyzer where you can actually download a sample of the file and um, put in all your data in that and we'll load all the addresses for you at once, okay? So this is an additional tool that you can take advantage of if you want to upload all your addresses at, at one time. Now, um, doing this uh, separation, um, there are multiple ways in which you can do it. You can actually grab your entire list of addresses, go to plan a route, you name the route, you set up a departure point. Um, I don't have a specific one, so I'm just going to randomly one, one, uh, grab one. Then you can just jump into the optimization, select a balance route, tell the system, I want to break this into five drivers or into however many parts you need. For example, you can say it's a five drivers or five days, or you know you can say, okay, break this out into 22 days if you want to look at it that way. Um, you can schedule. The schedule at this point will be just for your own um, uh, recognition of the route. It doesn't We can change that afterwards. So once you create that optimization, the system will create that many routes, and you can then assign um, the routes based on the days that you want them to run them and um, to the specific driver. Another thing you can do is um, you can actually grab our territory tool. It's on the right-hand side, okay? And you can create sections, okay? You can create territories where you can assign a specific driver. So, for example, let's say this one, it's RJC. We're going to grab a red collar. We're going to add it, and then we're going to say this section right here, it's JC's territory. You follow me so far? Yep. <clears throat> yep, I follow you. Okay. All right. Let's do it one more time. Let's call it Steven. We're going to grab the yellow button, find it, and we're going to create a territory over here. Oops. One sec. Maybe that will do. 
Let's see how many addresses we got in there. Over 2,000. Okay. So let's change this over here. Grab a little less addresses just to plan one quick route. Like that. There's plenty in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab one of the one of the territories and plan a route. Okay. So let's say we're going to do this one right here. This one's got 86 stops in it. So I'm just going to grab that route, name it, set up a departure point real quick, go to the optimization, balance the route, and maybe I want um, break this down into five days. I'm going to do end route at any address, or you can do a round trip. Do your drivers have to come back at the end of the day? Yep, they sure do. All right, so let's plan a round trip. When we do that, create route, and then the system goes and plans the routes. Within the territory, uh, within the address book map, I'm sorry, you can actually use um, uh, a filter section or a search section where you can create groups and filter by city, by, by you know, name of your companies, whatever data you related to the, to the addresses when you upload it, you can create filters for. I'll show you that in just a second. So as you can see, the system has created five routes for me. Let's bring up the markers. So you can see where the where the routes actually went. You can see how the system basically balances the route and sends the drivers on their own specific directions. Um, you can see how this green guy is staying over to the north part of the map. This route goes kind of in the center. There, you know, a lot of addresses were pretty close to each other in the center, so the system just breaks it out based on when the driver is going to be there and um, at what time. You can see how this other driver went all the way south. So they basically go on their own separate ways, okay? And at this point, I had 80 some stops in, uh, in 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 my selection, and the system went and planned five routes the way I wanted them. So I can actually go in here and say rename the route, and I'm going to do and Steve is going to do Monday, okay? We rename, and now you got Steve's uh, you know route for Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they're basically done planning. You know however many routes you need to plan in one one big shot. Do you have any questions? Uh, nope, not so far. Excellent. What do you think so far? It's pretty easy, right? Yep, definitely looks pretty easy. Excellent. So we're going to go back to the address book map, and this time I'm going to show you how you can create a group. So let's take a look at the map one more time, and I want to say show me addresses in um, Port Orange. So we're going to go to the left-hand side. We're going to call... We're going to call this drop down, and I want to go by city. Well, actually, in the address, the ones that contain board, what we said? Board orange. Let's see if that works. Okay. See that right there? Yeah, everything else went away. Now we have only board orange addresses. If you wanted to do it like that, you can name this route or this group. That's been saved. The moment you put a name to the group, the system will save it automatically. Okay? Then all you have to do is just grab this little gear icon or the settings button, 
go to plan route, and boom, you initiate that process again, and then you plan your route. What do you think? Yep, it's looking good. Fantastic. So, like I said, you can upload all of your addresses in here using our uh, route analyzer. You can upload them all at once. You can do a thousand at a time if you want to use the, um, the address book map um, address upload. And, um, and then you can plan big routes at the same time, and then you can just assign them to the driver. It makes it easy for you, right? Yep. All right. Excellent. So. Uh, the next step will basically be you uploading your addresses onto the address book map. Please let us know if you need any help. The uh, support channels are available via live chat and support at rob and um, we'll be more than happy to show you um, and help you how to use these functionalities, okay? Okay, now um, how long does it usually take to upload a thousand address route? Um, to plan a, uh, a route with a thousand stops, well, it depends on your on your internet speed and um, uh, and, and and you know how far apart these addresses are, but it, it shouldn't take more than I want to say um, sixty to maybe a couple of minutes. I mean, sixty seconds. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, what if I want to change uh, the date uh, that the route was scheduled after it's been planned? Oh, that's not a problem. All you have to do is just once you're in your routes list, like I said, you know, every time you plan a route, it saves automatically. So you can just go into your settings for the route, and you just go and uh, give me one quick second here. Um, we're going to open the route. And then we can go to the route settings. And then we can reschedule from there. See that? Yep. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay, so now uh, if I wanted to change the date of this route and then I wanted to split it up between two drivers, how would I do that? We go to the optimization, and well, this one is a single driver. Um, do you want to split this specific route? It doesn't have to be this one specifically, but I want to be able to split uh, a route uh, for two different drivers. It's already been optimized. Okay, so what we will need to do is to go to your routes list, this route, and then we can re-optimize. Well, I guess the, the easiest way to do that will be to download that list of addresses on that route as it's been sequenced, then you will grab that list replan a route directly into the um, uh, routing process, which is just planning a new route. You will upload that list of addresses and then change the setting to balance route into two. Okay? Yep, that looks great. Fantastic. All right, do you have any more questions? No, I think you covered it, JC. Fantastic. All right. Well, um, like I said, you know, the next step will be for you to go in there and um, test these functionalities and let us know if you need any additional help, okay? All right, thank you. All right, anytime. You take care now. Bye-bye.